Americans can help. North County's 49th Congressional District is one of the most competitive House races in the country. iNews Source reporter Jill Castellano tells us how the candidates have been raising and spending money since the June 5th primary. So, Jill, the 49th Congressional District race is considered possibly one of the most competitive in the nation, with Democrat Mike Levin running against Republican Diane Harkey. How is Levin doing in terms of fundraising? Levin is doing very well in terms of fundraising, actually, and we know this based on his latest financial reports. All of these House candidates have had to file their latest reports a couple of weeks ago. So this is our first chance to see how they're doing since the primary election. Um, we know that Levin is starting to get the backing of a lot of big Democratic groups. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, or the DCCC, has started backing his campaign, even though they did not during the primary. During the primary, there were 16 candidates and so many Democrats running that it was kind of hard to see who was going to win. But now they know Levin is their man. So they've donated $5,000 to his campaign. We also know that he's getting money through a platform called Act Blue, which is a way for individuals around the country to support Democrats that they want in office. And one more thing that we know is that there are a couple of big names donating to his campaign as well. Uh, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has donated to his campaign, among other House Democrats. And Sarah Jacobs, who finished third in the primary, who is a Democrat that barely lost to Mike Levin, gave him $2,700 for his campaign. So what about the Republican in the race, Diane Harkey, who is a former state assemblywoman? Where is her campaign financing coming from? She's getting money from a lot of different sources, too. There are some big political action committees who have been funding her campaign. We know she's getting money from groups that represent auto dealers, oil companies, and physicians. And the Koch Industries, run by the Koch brothers, have donated some money to her campaign as well. Um, we also know that Daryl Issa, who is the man, the representative in office now, has endorsed her to replace him, and he's given $5,000 to her campaign. That being said, Levin has still raised a lot more money than she has. She's ra he's raised about three times as much money as she has and has about five times as much money in the bank. So we're going to see how this plays out in terms of how they're able to communicate with voters this fall and how they're going to get their messages across with the money that they have. So let's turn now to the 50th Congressional District with the incumbent being Republican Duncan Hunter, and he's going against Democrat, Democrat um, Amar Kampanajar. How much money have these two candidates raised? Well, this is interesting because Duncan Hunter is the incumbent, he's the Republican, and this is a very Republican district where it's one of the most Republican uh, districts in, in California. And yet, uh, he's not doing the best in fundraising. Camp and Ajar has raised more money than he has, a million dollars versus about $850,000. And part of what's happening here is that Hunter is uh, facing an FBI investigation into some previous campaign spending, and it's kind of affecting his fundraising. He's actually spent more money than he's raised this election cycle, about $1.2 million spent so far. So we're going to see how that plays out. But um, he did do so well in the primary, and it's going to be a pretty big upset if he loses. To help his campaign, Camp in Ajar has actually recently brought on board a very well-known national consultant, Joe Trippi, who's pretty well-known for supporting Jerry Brown and for helping that Alabama Senator Doug Jones set up Roy Moore, uh, upset Roy Moore last year. You've reviewed the financial reports which were submitted by the candidates running for the House. Any surprises? Well, one thing to take a look at always is, even in these safe seats, how are candidates spending their money, even if they're very likely to win re-election? And there are three other seats in San Diego County that are held by Democrats right now running in the House um, that are worth paying attention to. They are very likely to win, but where are, where are all those resources going that they're able to raise with their incumbency? Um, Juan Vargas, who's in the 51st District, has been helping other House Democrats in Massachusetts and Florida and Iowa raise money for their campaigns. He's given them a couple thousand dollars for their own campaigns. Susan Davis, who served nine terms in the 53rd district in California, has donated $2,000 to Mike Levin, who's running for that really competitive 49th seat. So we can count on you to follow the money. Jill Castellano, I News Source reporter, thank you so much. Thank you.